The House Quad Committee decided to recommend to the National Bureau of Investigation or NBI to conduct a reinvestigation of the case of slain attorney Wesley Barayuga, a former Philippine Charity Sweepstakes Office or PCSO board member. Committee members believe they have substantial pieces of evidence that will support the allegation against former PCSO General Manager Royina Garma. So, Mr. Chair, as uh, the Honorable Luis Ro has stated, ay talagang may conspiracy to commit murder and all the participants are either guilty of principal by inducement, uh, principal by the indispensable cooperation, at saka principal by direct participation. Tama po yung sinabi ni uh, Honorable Wistro. And may I move, Mr. Chair, that we direct the DOJ and the NBI to conduct uh, an intensive investigation in so far as this issue is concerned. Attorney Barayuga was assassinated last July 30, 2020 when Garme was the general manager of the PCSO. Police Lieutenant Colonel Santi Mendoza and Nelson Marino appeared in today's hearing. Both of them implicated Garma as the mastermind of Barayuga's killing, a case which has remained called in and unresolved. With this, Representative Gerbil Revistro suggested to put Mendoza and Mariano under the Witness Protection Program of the Department of Justice. So I respectfully move, as I have moved already, Mr. Chair, that we place these two vital witnesses under the Witness Protection Program, Mr. Chair. Napulcom Commissioner Colonel Edilberto Linardo and PSSG Nesito Obales were cited in contempt by the committee for telling lies, according to the committee members. Leonardo and Obales were both allegedly connected to the alleged illegal activities of Garma when she was a member of CIDG Davao and as PCSO General Manager. Nakonvinsi ko si Nelson Mariano na lumahok sa operasyon base sa intelligence support na tinanggap namin mula kay Police Colonel Leonardo na siya namang nakuha niya mula kay Ma'am Garma nagsasaad na si Christy Barayuga ay sangkot sa mga illegal na aktividad ng droga. The discussion of extrajudicial killings took more than seven hours before the committee decided to adjourn. The hearing resumed at around 6 o'clock tonight. Dismissed Bamban City Mayor Alice Guo and Cassandra Leong were present the hearing. Also in attendance was Tony Yang, the brother of Michael Yang, former presidential advisor of former President Rodrigo Duterte. Today is the 7th House Squad Committee hearing in which the discussion centered on the alleged thousand of extrajudicial killings that obtained in the previous administration. The next schedule of the Quad Committee probe has yet to be announced. Isaiah Mirafuentes from the National TV Network for a new and better Philippines.